No! Ah! Oh, I'll vamp! Ah! I'll vamp! Oh, you're good at vamping, Kyle. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Murder Hobo, Inc., the cred campaign tonight. Uh, terrible things have been happening in the island of Farzine, and <clears throat> we're going to clearly make things worse. Uh, but before we go ahead and do do that, uh, that's a picture of uh, uh, Riley. Uh, let's go around and <laughs> introduce... Well, no, screw you guys. We're going to do the other stuff first. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archives. If you want to listen to the podcast, but not look at our wonderful faces, wonderful face, uh, you can do that over at Podbean. Otherwise, <coughs> up and look at our YouTube archive. Did I say that already? Uh, we do have one shots available every other week. Sometimes sometimes even on weeks like this where we do our campaign so you got to be paying attention uh but you can join in on those we like to uh get new people to sit right in the front seat so as soon as you say i'm in we just give you the chair we'll bump you know people like carol off just like that uh, we don't care about carol I mean, we don't one care shot about a while. Carol, ro, well, ro, i'm sort ro. of cheating on this with with bran because he's running a vampire game on saturday nights <gasps> Oh, that's fine. Nerd. It's awesome. Uh, it's amazing. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness. But you can hit us up at mhoboinc at gmail.com or again on Twitter. That's how you join into one of those things. Uh, if you want to buy really super cool merchandise, I don't know. I've been wearing this shirt all day long. It's glorious. It's beautiful. I can move freely and I can smell my armpits. That's how open <laughs> the armholes are. Uh, you can really just shake that out and people really clear out the <laughs> elevator. You do that and then you cough like Carol is. Yeah. No one wants to get in the elevator with you. It's perfect. Uh, and you can find that link uh, in the bars below. Uh, unfortunately, that's not one I have memorized. It's threadless or threadbare? Threadless. Threadless. Uh, but I will wear this shirt until it's threadbare. I'll tell you that right There's now. There's a sale today, actually. All t-shirts are 15 bucks. All t-shirts. And everything like else is on one. sale. Oh, you got to do it now. Just stop what you're doing. I'm going to be talking till like 8.30 just to put off everything. So you have enough time. <laughs> Add all that good good Murder Hobo Inc. merchandise in there, uh, but make sure you get the cred stuff first because that's going to disappear the soonest, obviously. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice. For those who found me on Twitter today, uh, no, actually, no. Pirate Dog Dice didn't make that. Frank did with the, uh, the what's that's that a, printer. That's three, yeah, 3D printer. 3D printer. Uh, the pirate dog die is. Hey. There we go. Pirate dog die. There we go. I actually have a relevant thing here. Um, oh, you do. Go ahead. Yeah, I actually right I've put an order into them for Anja dice. Ooh. Oh. Yep. I finally came up with a concept. They they custom make the dice, so it's like you can come up with a concept for that character. Oh. And make it really personal. And I finally came up with something good. You want me to email little backstory secrets about your character to see if no, 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 not not necessary. And then not you'll look at it and be like, "What the hell is this?" And then <laughs> oh, when it all gets revealed, you'll be like, "Oh my gosh, <laughs> it was planned the entire time." That's all right. I already contacted her. It's fine. Uh, oh. And finally, no, I didn't. That's full shit. No, I think I came up with a good <laughs> idea. And I it said so once when she has time to make it, then I'll be, you know, I'll get him, I'll show him off here. I can't wait. Okay. And finally, but not leastly, we have Odd Fish Games. Do you want a smell? Odd Fish Games Adventure Sense. That's my uh library one. I would pull up the putrid sewer one, but honestly, it's just an empty bag at this point. Uh, you will get addicted once you start snorting them. I can smell nothing but putrid sewers. If I go out, pick a rose or a flower, it's putrid sewers. If I go smell a newborn baby, it's putrid sewers. <laughs> Whenever I take a large dump in the bathroom, oddly well, enough, it still is... smells the same. Anyway, <laughs> that is the power of <laughs> you got to bring that to your game. 
Also, check out their many, many other projects. Uh, the Shine Project. Uh, you have the Acid Test. Uh, how to RPG with your cat. They have their fingers in all the plum pies. If you thought that American Pie had their finger in the pie, well, then clearly you weren't paying attention to the implications in the movie because there was no fingers in any pies. But Odd Fish Game has their fingers in every pie. <laughs> and uh, I think that's about it. We did have Murder Hobocom, but that's been a while ago now. And what can I delay with next? Have us introduce ourselves. Okay, fine. Uh, Carol's twisting my arm. Happy St. Patty's Day, everyone. Uh, let's introduce Carol and her horrendous leprechaun she has in the corner of her desk. Oh, no, it's downstairs. It's, well, you it's made in my me living a liar, room. Carol. Yeah, That's... sorry. It's in my living room now. But Poor if shame. you go to my Twitter page, it's on there, or my Instagram. Carol, introduce yourself. Stop plugging yourself. Oh, wait. I'm going to do that too. Hi, everyone. My name is Carol. I'm a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and commissioned mini painter. And yes, I just did paint a leprechaun, and you can see it on my Twitter, which is muse at muses underscore touch. But yeah, muses underscore touch, which is also the same app for my uh, Twitch stream where I paint minis and talk about. We actually, Kyle was on there last night, and we were chatting about this game. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I still, ugh, my allergies kicked in today, and now the cough that I had almost kicked to the curb has come back, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. In this game, <laughs> in this game, I play Anja Jaeger, my half-elven, slightly crazy ranger. Where the hell are you going, Kyle? I guess I can stretch a little more. No, um... Actually, I will. It can, I'm on between the roles. I'm doing the Sochim project, which is a world building thing we're doing uh, with the eight of us GMs, which is really cool. And occasionally I was doing one shots, but as I said, now I'm doing a vampire game with Bran, and it's awesome on Saturday night. So, and you know what? I'm going to kick it to Bran to introduce himself next, since I have that power. So go ahead, Bran. You're up. I don't think any of us have power at this point. <laughs> trying to get it, but we're losing it. Hello, I am DJ. I am playing Bran, the Way of the Mercy monk. And we're having a very interesting time. My worst nightmare has come true. I kind of want to go rampant. What is your worst nightmare? Ghouls. Ghouls? Ghouls. Ghouls. You know, you could get all sorts of information about how to defeat them. You know, if you do do a certain favor. <laughs> you know nothing of that. You know nothing of no, that. No, no, Anja knows nothing Just about the way it. you said Carol that means knows. you know nothing about that. I really Go don't. Ahead. But yes, should be an interesting time. Luckily, we did level up. So yeah, things are a little bit better. Go ahead, Riley. Do it. Yeah, so my name's Ernest, and I'm playing Riley, the uh, half-elf warlock. And uh, Riley, I realized, is a little crazy. Maybe maybe a little too late, I realized that. Um, so I'm going to play that up a little bit when I get a chance, but not in any way that should derail the campaign, hopefully. <laughs> uh, you derail I'm, I'm, this campaign enough. I mean, I mean, not as much as Bran, but... I, I do. <laughs> I need to play. I need to play my insanities up a little more. A little bit. It is. I like to. I think the, I, the point like is to. that it's not supposed to be an easy. No. From point A to point B, it should be from point A to almost dying to horrible dread to what the fuck was that to point B? Maybe. I pretty much went through the almost dying last session. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck That's me. Cthulhu. Fuck me. Fuck my dice. And now that there's muskets, I guess, yeah. we have to worry about that. <clears throat> yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah we're going to get shot. Which means that there's also gunpowder and explosives. <laughs> so. That's perfect for light, you know, setting a building on fire. Yeah, for a light distraction. It's perfect. 
Yeah. <laughs> We're blowing up the armory and half the town. <laughs> hey, as long as you guys are honest with yourselves, you know, that's fine by me. Okay. So, gosh, where do we go from here? Uh, cool. <laughs> you could have just said that, Riley. That is funny. He wrote a little arson, never hurt anyone. Unless you're in the building and get hey, trapped. Gosh, gosh. Then Dead men tell no it. tales. <laughs> well, that's why we killed all the ghouls last session. So there wouldn't be any telling of tales. <clears throat> all six. Wait, was it just four? Was it oh, six? Right. I think it was six. I, I think it was six because you Brand ended up killed. killing six. Yes. I have six a question for, the, for our GM, actually. Yes. I should probably look at this screen and not the actual computer screen that doesn't have me looking at you guys. What's up? <laughs> the, uh, the jail. Does it have more than one entrance and exit? The jail only has one entrance, one exit. However, you did find a connection down through the lava tubes. I don't know where the missing straw is. Ask mom. Well, what's that? Oh, mom said no. Mm. Uh oh. Here, may I borrow this? Thank you. All right, you go find it. I'll hold on to your juice, okay? Okay. <laughs> As a father, you should know, like, this is my juice. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. He, he's you know. going to start. We know you're going to start drinking it at some point. Oh, absolutely. You know, I am. All right. So uh, the jail only has the one entrance, one exit. Uh, however, there is the laboratory, which is uh, uh, connected to the lava tubes underneath the town where you guys have been for quite a while. You recently got back into town and were held at spear, gun, and. Pistol? Sword point. Pistol? A gun is a pistol. Oh, okay. A pistol is a gun. I think they muskets. have muskets. They have muskets and pistols, right? There's more muskets than pistols. But yes. Oh, boy. Yeah, I know. Isn't that fun? You guys were held there <sighs> Getting uh, shots while be... the rest of the uh, viewers were enlightened, as well as the meta players themselves, that uh, the magistrate, the commander... Corwell and uh, Porphos Yogosh and Upton the Ghoul uh, crafted an elaborate plan uh, framing you all for fraying the mutineers, the ones that had been killed earlier, um, and had set them on a rampage who they decided to murder a bunch of people, but luckily were caught by the ghouls. I don't think I'm going to get the missing straw. No. Anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. Can you guys vamp for a second? Yeah, that's Thank fine. You. Sorry, guys. So We're all I'm going to introduce our other character who's late. Yeah, and he can go give for a full introdu introduction later. But our fourth member is uh, Jake. Who's playing yeah. a gnome? Halfling. Ooh, halfling. Halfling. Oh my gosh, a short person. Um, <laughs> and he is a cartographer. And uh, he is not a very good cartographer, at least I don't think yet, but he's a fun fellow. And his name he's... is Merrick Miss Meadow. Actually, he's good. He is good with directions, though. And he was certainly pretty valuable going through all those lava tubes. So. Yes, though I admit his map wasn't the best quality, mm -hmm. even though his directions were. <laughs> yeah. All set? Yeah. Are we all set? Yeah, we just introduced Merrick Mist Meadow. Yeah, thank gone. you, Riley. Oh, is he? He's not here, here but we no, introduced we him in, in spirit. Him so oh. that people will know, you know if we start talking about him. That is a good idea. And yeah, most people overlook him. Because <laughs> uh, he's so short. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and the important thing about him is that he was hired on by the Arul Katan army. Uh, so he is probably in worse shape than the rest of you for being a mutinous, treasonous uh, cur who probably wouldn't even get a trial. 
I don't uh, think we are either. Well, when you escape uh, from your manacles uh, and murder the... <clears throat> you escaped? None of that. Yeah, well, they were, they were... Perhaps it was planned, they were perhaps left not. So we could escape. <laughs> uh, but murdering your four... Oh my goodness. Four? Escorts. Poor. Four. Poor my ass. I didn't say poor. Uh, oh. Your four ghoul escorts and <laughs> that two was your ghouls fault. who were playing the distraction. Uh, Captain Kenza, first mate Aiden Pasela, not forgetting uh, what you have done uh, for them, for their ship, and making sure they got home safely, and for trying to do the best for the crew, uh, came to aid you, uh, but had a a quest, if you will. Uh, they are smuggling refugees outside of the city, outside of the ghouls and the now invading armies uh, control. Uh, and they need your help because the gauntlet is closing in around them. And if you don't make a big or long enough distraction, chances are they will also be hung along with the former crew. No pressure. Big and long. That's that's <laughs> right, Ernie. That's the only way I like it, and that's the only way I'll take it. So, last time you guys leveled up, you are now level six. Uh, you have been hiding out in the basement, uh, potentially doing some other things. Um, we are going to run this in an anti D and D fashion. We're not going to talk about plans. We are going to just do the activity that you guys had decided to do yesterday. And you decided, hey, there's a bunch of gunpowder at the warehouse for the infantry at the garrison. Let's blow that up. And you decided the best way to approach that was using distractions. Uh, last I remember, one character in particular was uh, planning to be uh, the big distraction so that you all could break in. So let's roll some dice, huh? To begin, uh, for the audience at home, uh, each of the players has an opportunity to do something that I'm going to call a flashback. I have completely stolen this from another TTRPG. <laughs> TTRPG? Yes. Uh, each of the players has one. If they encounter themselves in a situation that they cannot see themselves out of, they can say, hey, I want to do a flashback, and uh, I actually have a man on the inside who's going to unlock this door for me. Or I uh, managed to knock out a few guards earlier, took their bandoliers, and made a quick gunpowder bomb to blow a hole in the wall. That way I can escape down this alley a little easier. They all have to roll random skill checks for this. I don't know oh, what they plan on rolling. <clears throat> you guys can argue whatever you want. If you have to, uh, um, instead of when you took out those guards, you don't necessarily want to use athletics to you know, grapple them and sneak them around. Perhaps you deceived them into following you down a dark alley for favors and then knocked them out. You can make that argument. Uh, perhaps you met them at a bar, droned on and on about the history of something or other, and they passed out in their drinks, at which pace you pickpocketed them. You make the argument, you be as descriptive as possible, and if you're descriptive enough, I'm cool with letting that happen. Um, so I have absolutely no idea how this really is going to go down tonight. I think I have delayed as much as possible. Sorry, Merrick, you're not here right now. So let's do it. Let's do this <clears throat> right now. You have a plan. You are going to the garrison. You are going to break down the warehouse doors. You are going to 
blow up the gunpowder reserves and you're distracting the guards in order to make it easier for you to get in there. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm going to add a D6 for all the good things that this plan has. You guys can make arguments to say, hey, I think you should also add a D6 for this reason. I will then roll the D6s after I subtract some things that might be problems. And if they add up to a certain amount, you will have good luck and you won't have any problems. If you roll, well, if I roll really low, things are already going the wrong way for you guys. And you might say be at the end of a chase already, all of you. Okay. Okay. I'm ready so, for this. I'm going to give you 2d6 just to start off with because I'm nice like that. <laughs> I think the distraction is a really great idea. The guards are specifically looking for you. Using yourselves to distract the guards is a good way to go. Um, after that, are you saying that we made explosion. ourselves wait? Are you saying we made ourselves bait? In a sense. No, you guys do, you are remember, do you remember the plan, Carol? Kinda, we we yeah. just went over it. No, I know. Go down One of us was going to be a distraction. Up. That was going to be me. Yep. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Um, I'm going to say it, maybe it's been a dry day, so it's going to be easier to ignite the powder and fire is going to spread a little quicker. It's been unseasonably dry. Hmm. Give me a D100 roll. Ought to. You're oh. shitting me. Wow! Ought nine. <laughs> I really thought you weren't getting away with that. It is unseasonably dry. Everyone is thirsty. I mean... Honestly, the ghouls have been <coughs> crying out extra bodies on the ground. Um, yeah, it's going well. Any of you other guys want to add anything? Oh my god, that was that was right really freaking good. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Give me a situation. <laughs> I'm to... And I am putting you on the spot. I got more. Uh, people don't have. Are we boat, doing? You know. Are we? Is this where we do the flashbacks? No, Carol. No, this, this is, is just suggestions right now. Oh, this fuck. Just um, what else? I suppose if you wanted to use a flashback to make the start of this go better for you, you now nah, I'm gonna no. On. I think I want to save it in case I need it, need it, need it. Like I get in a bad situation. Um, <clears throat> the guards are. You're gonna point. Guards are out hunting, mm -hmm. so that means they're all over the city. And not necessarily watching that one location very well. That is actually one of the reasons I was going to take a die away. The guards are very spread out. And you're trying to lead them on a wild goose chase, potentially. Eh. You're probably going to encounter a lot more guards and have to be a little bit sneakier. Do we know of a sneaky way? Thank you, Carol, for allowing to... me to take a die well, away. No, don't you dare! All right. Well, no. Right. It, it, is it? Well, you already did. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, but it also makes it easier for us to get in that. I mean, maybe not to. Well, is there a sneaky way? We've we've been traveling the city for a few days. Do we know of a somewhat sneaky way to get there where we will encounter po possibly less guards? Alleys. Uh, is there a way to go through underneath the city back in the those he even suggesting it those goddamn I mean the dudes. ghouls the ghouls are after us too. You know what? But the they ghouls are, are above the ground right now. The ghouls okay. are above ground though. But the if we sneak of below, the city are probably going to make it easier. Yep. You're back up to four now. Yes. And Riley, you got anything you want to add? Um you're clever. I am clever. You're very but clever. Not right now. Yeah. Um <laughs> I, 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 I do know <laughs> I I do know that the earth there's been uh some earthquakes and tremors in mm -hmm. some previous sessions. So yeah. 
I could say that maybe the townspeople that are still remaining in Farzine um, will stay in their homes or, or at least notice to stay, stay out of the way. So anyone we see in the streets, we know is likely an enemy. So we don't need to worry about discerning enemies. Yeah, most of the good, most of the allies are all out. Give me a town. Well, they're either they're right. out or they're or, innocent <laughs> or they're enemies. And I'm hoping that only the enemies are the ones out now. <laughs> so it makes it clear. You're doing this at the cover of night. That actually makes a lot of sense. I'm not even going to have you roll it. I'm going to add a die to it. You have five die at the moment. Okay. Nice. Uh, as Carol has stated, the guards are spread out everywhere. Um, whoever is out is an enemy. But also the people who are in town either are going along with this plan of the ghouls ascending and are potentially working with the Arukatan army or our merchants of Arukatan themselves. And so they may choose to involve themselves as in, hey, there were just some suspicious people over there in order to maybe not have to pay the extra tax that's been going around. Uh, you want to raise your hand there, Bran? Yes, uh, I have another one. All right, last one. Because the ghouls mm -hmm. have just started policing. Mm -hmm. They are not normally very organized and most likely not very good at doing guard work. They're inexperienced. One of the notes was don't let them think with their stomach. So they, they probably aren't very organized and logical. <laughs> All right. You've got five dying. I think that's great enough. We just had and you that. used my own damn note against me. <laughs> All right. Eighteen is what the respectable rolling. fireball. <laughs> <laughs> well, considering it's only five die, it's not even the full compliment, right? I know. <laughs> Um, and 18 is the bottom of what you had to roll. So you guys... That doesn't seem like a five. I was going to say, I don't think that was a great roll, was it? Uh, six, four, four, two, two. Oh, that's not... So that, wow. Six is eight. Worth. No, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. So time is going to play a little bit differently. But we start with you guys in the cellar. And Riley, as you're kind of preparing for this, you blink. And when you open your eyes up, you're in the cellar. But the walls are lined with this green pulsating slime it's the same room before but this green ooze <clears throat> kind of has this tendrils and as you look around your party is nowhere near there's no corpse there's no sign that they were ever here you climb the stairs you exit out and you find yourself once again in this maze of mausoleums the chanting whispers you are surrounded by what it looks like tombstones mausoleums and again you walk towards the pulsing green on the horizon brighter now than it was before you walk by the pedestal that held the tablet on it and you push your way further in the other pedestals cracked crumbling once it comes around it turns around 
friends, it comes friends, we turn, it comes in, we turn. And it gets louder and louder. What looks like shades of people in different garbs. What looks like perhaps a court wizard wearing a mask of yellow gold appears beside you <clears throat> and once again disappears into the green icarus mixed. A small rat-like creature crawls over top the mausoleums before disappearing itself, carrying a large tomb. Lizard folk, a ghoul, a deep one, all appearing and disappearing, walking beside you for a moment and then disappearing. And eventually the path becomes narrower and narrower, the mausoleums crowding in beside you, leading you in one direction until you get to a dead end, a mausoleum blank. Nothing written there. And there's this desire. Do you think for a moment it might be from you? But you realize, <clears throat> no, something else, something, something greater. And there's this pull. towards this blank slate in front of you, this blank mausoleum. The tablet in your hand, this gravestone, which has weighed absolutely nothing to you, gets heavier and heavier in your arms. What would you like to do? Um, th this <clears throat> desire from something else greater, do I sense that it's from my patron, Ubo Safa, or something else more alien? There can't be anything more alien than your patron. And nothing so great as this feeling. It must be from your patron. All right, then I will follow through with the desire, whatever it may be, since it's coming from a trusted source. And your claws dig into the tablet and you feel it crumble in your hands. And these stones clatter down part of the tablet is broken and the part that falls to the ground that is crumbling into dust suddenly from that dust appears the scholar from the tunnels creature that was invulnerable to all weapons with the elongated neck except it's not the monster that your party saw it is it's the man you saw who's speaking a language you didn't know and he stands there and looks at you And there's a wide, his eyes go wide as he realizes where he is and the dust and the gravel from the tombstone that you crushed 
begin rolling towards the mausoleum. And he turns to look at you and starts trying to claw his way away, trying to run past you, but he's being pulled into this mausoleum, following the stones behind him. And as he's being pulled, his features become more ichthyoid, stretched out, oozier, scales appear upon his skins, his nails grow claws, his neck stretches out as the rest of his body gets sucked into the mausoleum with the stones. He makes one last lunge out and he grabs you, thumbs just below your eyes, claws digging into the back of your skull. Asha! Asha! And he gets sucked in and you feel this burning rip across either side of your neck as slams into the mausoleum. Along the blank slate, it reads High Scholar Wandelfin, Beloved and Chosen. And what appears to be an incredibly detailed knowledge, how much he weighed at birth, how old he was, almost word for word, his entire life story appears upon this mausoleum. We've had 26 episodes at this point. This is 27. This is 27. I have here, I've got to double check. This is a D30. Because something was ripped from you as well. Oh, no. I don't remember the plan at all. Oh, no. (laughs) This is This is great. The best result. Oh no! I can't see it. Eighteen. Eighteen. Oh, okay. So you don't want me to forget the plan? Is that? Oh no, you forgot the plan and eighteen. Oh, oh okay. We don't know this. The fuck! I don't know this. Whoa! How did I get up here? What's going on? <laughs> oh my god. And the mausoleum splits open. Oh, shit. And you now find the way clear ahead of you. And in the distance, you see the curves, the curvature of Ubo Sothla with these golden orbs floating above him like miniature suns tendrils reaching out slowly they turn green and you continue to approach Anja oh boy Uh, by the way did you get read my little message to you Uh, I don't know what that means exactly but all right you need more volume Oh, do I need more volume? Yep. Uh, Romancy come for when we return. Romancy come for when we return. <laughs> All right, I've got my pen. I'm ready for whatever it is you're about to throw at me. Mm-hmm. All right. Anja, Let's hope I don't forget the plan. <laughs> you find yourself in a hut. Is this, by the way, is this going on right now? <laughs> or do, like do we do we suddenly all of a sudden just like get blank stares and don't see each other anymore this is right now right hold on a second the timeline is going to be muddled here we're okay. gonna work our way past that anja you find yourself waking up in a hut in the middle of the woods you're fairly certain the bird songs are strange but the smell, pine, lichen, possibly mushrooms, 
enters through your nose. Something is cooking over a fire. And you find when you turn your head, you see a strange creature, too many fingers on its hands, too many oh, toes on its feet, a long rat-like tail hunched over, these huge bat-like ears. So what was that again? Slightly drooping. S- mm-hmm. So what was that again? A l- what was the first part of that? Elongated body? <laughs> too many fingers oh, on its nice. hands, too many toes on its feet, a long pink rat like tail, large bat like ears that are hanging and drooping from your position on a pallet. Yeah, a pallet. You can see that it appears to be wearing some sort of glasses. This is pretty much a on brand. And the bat was what, the ears or wings? Bat Sorry. like ears. It was ears, okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I did get it right. Where's glasses? Okay. <laughs> All right, and I, and what is that about a pal? I'm on a pallet, or they're on a pallet. You're on a pallet. You, well, the creature turns to look at you, and you see these this somewhat bat rat like face. I mean, they're both rodents, so you know they kind of blend together. And offshooting, instead of where it may have tent or where it would have a beard or knows it instead has these tentacles. I've seen these before in my dreams, correct? It's like you're dreaming again anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, yes. It looks very much like the creature you had seen earlier. I think I saw them when I had that fever too. Mm -hmm. Ah, my dear, you are coming around. We were wondering whether you would make it across the fever. You had such terrible wounds upon your body. And it appears that you have come very, very far from here. Where are you from? Who are you? I am chosen Zialia. Okay. I'm being a terrible host, I assure you. Well, uh, how do you spell that? Chosen. That's not the part I don't even spell. The speaker is C H O S E N. Yeah. Z Y A L G A E. Okay. Zealja. Zealja. Oh my God, I'm going to butcher that name. You absolutely are, and that's why you're Anya Jaeger, and I'm fucking with you right now. <laughs> Anya Jaeger. <laughs> All right. Um, Where I'm, are you from, my dear? I'm like flicking around going, what the fuck? Uh, I'm from, right now I'm from Farzine. I have never heard of this place. Where is it? Um... Does it occur to me at all that I'm not on planet whatever the hell we're on? Mm-hmm. Does it? Mm. Oh, it's, you have what is do- the name? What is the name of the planet actually that we uh, we are from? What setting is this? Mm. Do we have a planet name? You don't have a planet name. Come up with a name right now. Oh, shit. Um, right now. It's on the spot. You decided to put me on the spot. Screw you. What's the name of the planet? Or would you like time to think about it and uh, answer the fucking question? Um, this give is me a not sec. for. Uh, give me a sec. Give me a sec. No. Mm. Mature audiences only. Um, 
Uh, let's see. A stall, stall, stall. Because I'm not good at coming names so far. Keep in mind, you probably are not aware of the world as, say, we know the Earth today, or that Pathfinder knows that they're on a world called Galerion. I thought we always did. No. I thought we knew it as Galarian. We you don't. are fairly... Uh, um... All right, fine. I, I'll say, well, I come from a place called Aruka, Aruka, God, Arukatan. Is that how you say it? Close I'm enough. Butcher, that. <laughs> butcher everything I come up with. Ah, I'm so sorry. Or, yeah, Aruk, <laughs> Arukatan. Yeah. Uh, have you heard of that? Mm. I Where? have not. What is your name? Anja Jaeger. Mm-hmm. Anja Jaeger. 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 It, it means hunter. That is interesting. Do you know why is it interesting? Because you have a medal here that says your name is. Tristan. Isn't Tristan a boy's name? Uh, One would assume, but you do not appear to be a boy. Well, wait, was it a medal that was found on me? Yes. Scoutmaster Tristan Ellery? Well, that's not me. Wait, uh, I think back to my dreams. Do I know this person? Was it somebody that was in the army in the city, defending the city? Roll a wisdom check. That's not terrible for a change. Wisdom check. So that is a 14. The name while it's not yours, seems strangely comfortable to you. Like putting on a well-worn coat, like your favorite coat. You said you were on Farzine from Arulkatan. Uh... How many uh, how many zoogs do you know? Zoogs? Perhaps even a few off pouch. I had a game. I'm pretty sure I know what a zoog is, but in game, she's no clue. Uh, a zoog? Yes, perhaps a few zooglets running around. I don't know any. I don't know what a zoog is. How about the nori? In the uh, oceans. You said you are on an island. There are oceans around an island, yes? I don't think we're talking about the same place. Your island is not surrounded by water? It is, but I don't think... Whatever you're describing is not, as far as I know, something that's a thing on where I'm from. Are you sure? Where am I? Where are we right now? We are in the dreamlands. The dreamlands? When you go to sleep, you live your life here. Often completely separated, but you, you've woken up. You are a dreamer. What does if you that like me you you cross the veils you know you understand what is going on then I'm not I'm Farzine. I'm somewhere else and he reaches over with you and with all seven fingers he proceeds <laughs> to touch you and poke at your head am I real you do not get any dread but you are real uh-huh. You are... So I can feel it. 
It's not yes. like you can feel it. And I'm while just... it's uncomfortable, you're not necessarily getting that. Dread. I wince. Other than just I like still wince. seven I... fingers are touching. Yeah, I'm wrist. sorry, but I do wince and I do Absolutely. kind of pull back. Yes, I just wanted to make sure that was clear. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. I'm going to, I'm trying to write all this down, but you know, I think I'll just write it after because this is you, too cool. What a dreamer you have awoken. This is what the fuck? amazing. I have only seen one once. I have read about them. What, what, what does it mean? just means you are able to travel from one to the other. There are some creatures who can physically travel. Uh, I have my own way of traveling uh, to a certain forest. Uh, In the world, the waking world as it is, uh, cats are often known to travel to and from. I have to watch this accent because it's disappearing quite quickly. (laughs) Don't feel bad. I, I can't. I, I don't do well with accents at all. No, yeah, but I don't want to do my usual German uh, uh, practice accent. Hi Hitler. Anyway, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> right? Turns bad. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, that's a joke, everybody. Anyway, if you like, things have become more open to you, but have become far more dangerous. People desire dreamers like you. They believe they can... Let's see if she can put that together. Uh, Want to see if maybe she could put together of that what was going on before she joined this expedition. And I did not roll really well. So I'm gonna say at the moment, no, she doesn't she doesn't put together, it. doesn't doesn't register. <clears throat> Look, wow, what do you think is happening in the awakened world? It is no longer important. You uh, yeah, it is. You, I assure you it is not. Or at least you must put it aside when you are here. Oh, all right. That is fair. I mean, is there a way I can control coming here and staying there? Just is that part of this? Mind your sleeping patterns. What does that mean? You only come here through your sleep. <clears throat> your body is still, still where you left it. And as you guys are preparing for your arsenic heist, you know, uh, um, Riley wakes up in the corner of the room from uh, a nap that he had accidentally taken, and you are just kind of sitting there on your side, leaning up against the wall, passed out. Am I talking? Can can they hear any of this? No. So they can't. So it's all happening with basically probably her spirit. So they can't. So they. It's not like she's talking in her sleep. Wow. <clears throat> okay, that's this freaking is cool. all new to you. Oh, yes. I mean, can let I... Let me... <laughs> let me... You have to still eat while you are here. Your soul, your dreaming body still needs nourishment. And he turns around and he goes, gets a bowl, gets the two bowls out uh, uh, and proceeds to, you know, add some spices into them turns around hands you one of the bowls eats you will Thank you'll you. be hungry and i do yeah. no hold on a second there right well, I started. The bowl. oh where are my manners uh my son is outside at the moment and i must go speak with him but um when you are feeling up come to the table eat okay and he goes out the door. You stand up. You go to the table. Smells delicious. And as you go mm. to take a bite, Stop. don't eat that. A voice in your head. Oh. An older woman. 
You are important, and it is drugged. You need to come see me as soon as possible. Who are you? I am Pompeia. Hold on a sec. Let me get the name. I'm going to write at the bottom here. What's how you spell that? P O M P E A. P O M P E A. Mm-hmm. Pompeia. Mm-hmm. Like Pompeii. Yeah. And there's a volcano. Ah, Where do I? Uh, shut up, Carol. <laughs> Where do I find you? You need to Where leave. Find you? Go east of here. Run. Can, can I just He's go contacting back? Contacting people who want you. Can I just wake up? Go ahead. I do that, I leave. Try, and you can't find yourself waking up. Fuck. And looking around you, there's the small door that he left from. There also is a window on the opposite side of the wall that looks large enough that you could crawl out of if you wanted to. I'll go out the window. Okay. It's not the way you came. You do that. Go east. East. Head east. And you start to run. And And I'm trying to wake up. I'm trying to wake myself up. Sure. Start running. You turn, look behind you. You see uh, Chosen Zyalja is releasing what looks to be like this praying mantis in the air with a message tied to its legs when he sees you. No! Get back here! Shit! And he proceeds to chase after you. You have longer legs and you run and run and you're shaken awake. (gasps) Like, awake, awake. So I'm in the... Oh my god, this is going to be confusing. I'm back in the real world. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, girl? (gasps) Um, you can give me a sec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to do this. What the fuck? I look so, around. Everyone is ready to go. Riley, perhaps while uh, Anja was asleep, you had time to do whatever you needed to do. Vice versa. Um, everyone has taken a little bit of a nap here or there, but you two seem the only one to have dreamt about something. And we... Right, Riley's obviously confused. How did I get out of the tunnels? <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, actually, he would remember getting out of the tunnels. He would I remember, remember, I remember, remember leaving I remember time? leaving the tunnels into moonlight, and that was the last thing I had. And then there was a session I missed after that. Yeah, where but you would remember that. Bought though. some deep ones, maybe? No, we just traveled. Uh, just traveled. So we I remember the traveling. Session. Yeah, yeah, you, oh, we yes, ended yes. that session arriving at the city and guns and basically the guards uh, arresting us. And then I blocked So you out. just remember hands up in the air with guns and pointed and you wake up in this dank cellar where people are preparing to do something. Hey, Kyle. Tristan. What's the name of the guy again? Tristan what? Tristan Ellery. T-R-I-S-T-A-N. E L L E R Y. Okay, thank you. A scoutmaster title. Okay. You begin making your way to the garrison. If you want to talk about what in the world is going on, now would probably be the time as Captain Kenza and First mate Pasela leave to begin their smuggling operation. Are we ready to? I'm not going to say anything about what so the hell again, just happened to me. I will cause the distraction. Make sure you get that gunpowder uh, out, light it, make sure it blows. Riley, I assume you'd be the one to do that. Anja, stand lookout. That's probably the best option here. Once we have the distraction, we head north through the gates where the uh, and up over. We don't want to attract attention south. That's where they're escaping again. Remember that. Okay. okay. You 
guys arrive at the garrison. Uh, if you separate, if you've done that, the garrison uh, in the city, and you probably have seen it before, several long houses uh, hosting troops, uh, a, a large warehouse uh, in the center of all that, and training grounds. What's newly added is it appears that they have put in a range for the soldiers to uh, practice with muskets. And in fact, as you get closer and closer, you just hear the crack, crack, crack. As so this is this has happened recently, like within a week. Uh, I'll I'll say you probably were setting this up before you had left. Now they're actually starting to get use out of it, and it's so they, more they're just, not going to know jack and shit how to use these things. Uh, it's a technology that has been around long enough, but you would assume maybe the ghouls themselves, and you can actually see there is a new place for the ghouls um, who are soldiering and who are less not using the muskets necessarily, but are doing more hand-to-hand -hand fighting with swords, adjusting armor uh, in this large courtyard. Uh, there's a stables not too far away. Uh, and in the distance, uh, actually south of this location, uh, is the magistrate's office uh, and the stockade. So, you're planning a distraction. Give me a roll, Brand. Tell me how it's happening. What skill do you want to use? So, you know what? I'm going to be interesting about this. Yeah, absolutely. That's the best part. So, uh, quick question. Do ghouls actually eat food or do they just eat flesh? They can carnivorous as far as food. Um, old desiccated bodies are the delicacy, though, and aren't in short supply, usually. Okay. So, I don't know if I want to use it now. <laughs> I want to kind of save it for something else. All right, come on. What's the plan? Uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to do go over to the stockades. Uh, not the stockades, the um, the uh, where the horses and animals are. Okay. Horses and animals are. Mm -hmm. And the goal is to let them run rampant. Run wild. Oh. And then make myself known. I want to cause a little bit of chaos, then present myself so they chase me. Yeah, no, that sounds... That sounds great. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, animal handling is what you're thinking? Or do you want something else? I could do animal handling. Yeah, I'm actually I'm, Like I said, it. you convince me with whatever skill you want to work. Originally, I was thinking of argument. making everyone sick. But I don't want to use my flashback yet. <laughs> All right. I got other plans for that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with animal handling. All right. Um, I'm going to say that uh, if you succeed, yeah, this camp is going to be disarray. array. 22. 22. Okay. Uh, horses start running out, running wild. Uh, perhaps what you weren't expecting are what look like to be some sort of giant insects. It's like maybe like a, a, a beetle of some sort um, housed separately. Uh, if you want to let those loose, those begin crawling and some of them even after start going after the horses themselves and this whole camp, the guns stop firing, everyone starts turning. You see people running out of long houses. Uh, you see ghouls running out of tents. Um, and what do they see? So they're going to see the horses, probably some of the farm animals they keep by. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the beetles too. That's just more distraction. Mm -hmm. uh, coming out 
but I'm going to come barreling out with uh, the magistrate's horse. I'm on its back, and I have two, uh, I have three other horses. I'm I'm pulling along, and I'm it appears that I'm taking them. Okay, the magistrate doesn't have a horse. However, there is a very large war horse that has uh, been outside your business once or twice when uh, your brother came to visit. Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah. All right. And you start riding down through the city? Yep. Okay. Um, the ghouls, for one, see you do this. And they all start running after you. However, um, here's the thing. And make sure you guys let me finish what I'm going to say before you give me a dice roll, all right? Yep. You have left a hazardous mess at the garrison that someone has to clean up. And so while you've possibly removed half the ghouls from the area, a lot of the a rule Catan army is still left there trying to round up whoever is left there. A few of them are trying to get the horses and saddle them, uh, but you start riding off into the dark of the city. Which brings us to who wants to go next, Riley or Anja? Let Anja go. All right, okay. because basically, I'm going to be a lookout. Yeah. So, um, so, I guess the skill check I would use. Yeah, you still have plenty of people who are there. Not um, great. Yeah. Would be and, stealth. Yeah, you don't have to play lookout if that's not what's no no for you in the moment too. No. Oh well, I mean. Basically, I'm trying to get to the warehouse. Okay. In, so, yes. Amongst all the confusion. Go for it. How are you doing? And I'm come and I'm hopefully Riley's going with me. I'm trying to accompany him. Mm -hmm. All right. So I, I said, um, you know, stealth probably is the best one that I can think of. That's what she'd do. She would try to sneak there. Okay. Would I get advantage at all this with all the craziness going around? Uh, here's what I will say. Um, yeah, there's a lot of craziness going around. Um, the DC is much lower okay. for you. Uh, and you're going to get to the doors of the garrison. Uh, that's a 13. Okay. <laughs> you get to the garrison, but... Shit. And Riley, uh, are you with her or no? Uh, I guess so. I don't know what's going on. Okay. You, well, like... Merrick, and Anja, together, you're using the distraction. You guys are sneaking in. Um, there's a point, Anja, where you are certain uh, a soldier gets kicked in the chest. You just hear, gong! Oh. And you're sneaking by underneath a wagon, and he lands right there, glances at you out of the corner of his eye. Fuck. And then the horse proceeds to step on him some more. He goes unconscious? He is not unconscious. Oh, he's not he unconscious. He is aware, and he is trying to get a horse off of him. How far get away? The situation under control. So at this point, the guards are aware, Shit. bludgeoning. Um, the guards are becoming aware that you guys are here. Um, and I've started what I'm calling a clock here is the infiltrators are found out. Um, any more failures? or successes with consequences could fill this in. And when it is filled in, things get really bad. Okay? I do not have anything good spell-wise to That's do That's all here. right. You only get to do one thing. Okay. Riley, 
All right, uh, so you guys have managed to get through. Um, a couple of the guards are becoming aware that something else may be going on besides this guy running through, besides Bran running through with the horses. Um, you have made it to the warehouse. Um, it is actually... Okay. The door is open. However, you see several people inside. And it looks like they are uh, still working, despite some of the commotion out there. So a couple of them look outside. Uh, just a few horses loose in the yard again. Damn ghouls are probably trying to eat them again. And they get back to work. How are you getting into? Uh, how are you getting into the building um, without we have being we, spotted more? I would we say. technically do have Merrick with us, right? You do have Merrick with you too. So and we when can, he gets here, he can start making decisions as well, or you can. Yeah, he's not here. We may need him. Yeah, he knows what's going on. I mean, out of game, we don't. In game, we don't know that Riley doesn't remember. Mm -hmm. but we know i mean i think i'm getting the the well i don't know why we're we're trying to do this at all yet because all that backstory was in the last session yeah <laughs> um i don't know that we were framed i don't know that you know we're trying to smuggle people out mm -hmm. all i know is like oh we're trying to make a distraction for the guards for some reason that's probably all i've picked up so far so i get the gist but i don't know why <laughs> so um and i i probably got the gist of what we're trying to accomplish at this specific building i probably got that mm -hmm. from anja on the way here mm -hmm. so these are assumptions i'm just doing base layer mm -hmm. uh so we're on the same page um so what can i do so we am i underneath the wagon with anja or or what's going on because merrick anja and i were all together i think yeah i'll say you're behind this wagon um the warehouse doors are open, but there are people inside the warehouse, um, and they're kind of ignoring the commotion outside mm -hmm. to continue unloading uh, uh, this wagon that happens to be in there as well. Unloading a wagon. Do I see what they're unloading? Crates. Crates. Mm -hmm. Do I see how many people are in there? Uh, about half a dozen or so from what you can tell. Oh, a little more than I can take. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this is a situation where we don't want to fight. Otherwise, we're going to die. Don't oh, maybe. Fight. I don't know. It probably will be die. Mm -hmm. All righty. Do I see any crates of gunpowder in there? <laughs> just, Just wondering. <laughs> Mm, go ahead. Um, give me a perception roll. Okay. There are a lot of crates in there, and the more time you kind of spend out by this wagon just trying to figure out where the crates are, this is um, a little risky, just trying to figure out where everything is in the building at the moment. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for two things in particular, where gunpowder is, Mm -hmm. where an open flame is. Um, sure. But I rolled a 21 on perception. 21 on perception. Yeah, you uh, take a look and the guards are actually unloading um, these uh, barrels from the wagon itself. And they're stashing it over by crates that you may be familiar with from the Hazel's Folly. Um uh, as the crates that have muskets, pistols, uh, mm. and cannons in them. Oh, man. Yeah. Bran, you are riding down the streets with horses. Uh, not as many behind you as you would like, and you are outdistancing them fairly quickly. And in the road ahead, 
you see a patrol of guards <clears throat> uh, uh, at this kind of small crossroads at the street. Okay. And they spot uh, you, and four of them turn, face you, two get down on their knees, and all of a sudden, in just the slow, aching motion, you just see these barrels being leveled in your direction, the hammer being cocked back, and a click. What do you do? Um... It's not going to matter either way for these. Places. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my horse quick 90 degree, go down another road. Mm -hmm. But the other horses I'm going to let go and let go straight towards the crew of, uh, of gunmen. All right. All right. Uh, what do you want to, how do you want to do this? Mm. Let's do another and handle hand me check. I think that'll be the best. Check. Okay. Um, that or acrobatics, one of the two. Sure. Here's the thing. Okay. Before we roll. Yep. You succeed. You turn ninety degrees. You bowl over these guards. Um, no problems, and you don't have more sure. people chasing you. Um, if you fail, you are going to be hit with and i do have to try and remember how much damage was a musket did we decide on and by we i meant me i believe it was 4d10 if you fail you will take 4d10 uh and the rest of the uh patrols in the area are going to be well aware that something is happening and they are more likely to draw down quicker. Well, as far as I can tell, the sound is going to be going down no matter what. Oh, yeah. So okay. that should hopefully draw more anyways. Yeah. I mean, hey, the plan is working. Uh, go ahead and give me that animal handling check. All right. 20. 20. Okay. Yeah, uh, you managed to rear this horse down a small alleyway um, to your left. The two horses behind you um, just plow into these guards. Uh, and you have successfully uh, uh, both alerted the city. Um, however, they're going to be quite confused about what's happening. Um, I mean, perhaps it's still training you know they've been practicing with these muskets day and night um but you succeed you avoid getting hit with any bullets and you turn down this small alley and you start riding down for uh quite a while um and you run into a fairly serious problem where you have been riding on this horse and you don't have too many people who have been able to keep up with you. And so when I get back to you, I'm going to ask how you're going to keep up this, this wild goose chase, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Anja, Riley yeah. has found gunpowder being unloaded uh, I... uh, from this wagon. You are next to the building. Okay, so I'm not sitting there staring at the guy. You're not sitting there staring. He's about to he's friggin' busy. murder. He's trying to take care of this horse. Okay. Yeah. Um. You know, I'm gonna do. I will do perception. Okay. Because why not? Um, to see if anything's coming in, or is there anything in the? He's dealing with it though, right? Nothing's bothering him right now, so it's the best thing I can think to do right now. Hold on, hold on here. What? Ask hold what's on. going on. Let's not roll a perception. Okay, okay, that's fine. What's going yes. on then? Yes. I don't want to make anything worse from inside either. Okay, fine. Okay. What's going on? You've located the gunpowder. You need to find a way to set it off. You have the materials uh, at hand, flint and steel. Um, what do you guys need to do is either find a way to take care of the people in the warehouse, lure them outside, 
you need to do something with them so you can actually get this powder going. Yeah, do we? By the way, do we have a fuse? Because I'm pretty sure we don't want to just blow it up while we're all still inside. Um, well, I could I could pull a brand and uh, call all their attention to me. And I even have a really nifty thing to do for a flashback, although it's not going to be something I do, per se. Okay. So what I'm gathering is I'm we're gonna... trying to distract. Are we distracting the people in the warehouse more? Yes. Or are we trying to get the rest of the garrison out of here so the uh, Merrick and <coughs> Riley can operate uh, a little bit more smoothly? Um, oh Lord. Well, I mean, that's a lot of attention. I mean, I guess I can, yeah, I mean, I'll try to get as many people out of their way. Okay. That's what I'm trying to do. All right. What are you doing? Okay. So, I mean, I'm basically, you know, gonna, I'm gonna loudly whistle and be like, hey, y'all looking for me? Okay. And as people what do you start, want to roll? okay. So, what do I want to roll? Or unless you, yeah, to get their attention, to get the attention, to get people to choose to follow you, as opposed to rounding up these horses. Oh God, I've got. Oh well, I mean, mm -hmm. but they're still busy rounding up the horses. Maybe I should just focus on the ones inside. Um. No, I'm going to focus on the ones inside. Mm -hmm. Problem is, I don't have a lot of good social skills. This is all the characters. <coughs> um, you know what? You guys have spells. You have I items. Can't. You have, I don't have any, yeah, the I don't resources have any at your disposal. Problem is, I don't have any good spell. Like, I don't have any good spells for that sort of thing. I've got healing spells, absorb elements, protect for good. I've zoned a truth. Um, I don't think any of those are great for getting attention. Um, no, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to make a big noise by the door uh, to get their attention. Uh, how about an athletics check to see if I can draw them all over the attention over. So you will be able to distract the guards. I haven't figured out what I'm wrecking here. Probably. I'm going to wreck something right outside the door. Wreck <laughs> something outside the door. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You will uh, be able to distract a, uh, a couple of the guards. Um, this is really risky. So the DC is a little bit higher because oh God. you're still surrounded by a bunch of guards who are oh. gathering horses. They are distracted. I do have a plan for that, though. Sure. Because they're people that don't want me dead. This is not saying something she knows, but I think okay. this would still be really cool. Oh my freaking god, my dice suck! Oh, I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail. That's only uh, that's a ten. Because I rolled a four. I rolled a freaking four. <laughs> Yes, I'm going to screw this whole thing up. Yes! <laughs> Just make it more interesting, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, <laughs> and and um, I, will, I will use my flashback when I get in shitloads of trouble. You is, uh, just where I want to be. do not have any luck in finding uh, something to wreck and oh. distract the guards. Uh, and as you're standing around just mm -hmm. looking for something, the clock starts to fill up. Fuck. More guards Sorry, guys. kind of pause. They're running after a goat and one. Oh, it's hey. Oh, shit. And the clock starts glowing down. You don't have a lot of time now before people start to get to arms. They drop the horses, they go running into their tents, grab weapons. When can I invoke the flashback? Anytime you want. All right. Well, during this point, here's what I was thinking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Someone who is working for mother or one of the interested parties that's interested in making sure I don't die 
realizes who I am and they don't want me shot. Okay. A flashback works in the sense of Is it only me? I was you hoping, did. No, I was trying to twist it and make it an interesting part of the narrative, man. Back a couple hours ago to make sure your plan goes off without a hitch. You kind of screwed the... <laughs> Oh, no, one. it's, I mean, what do you no, want? My right. dice roll no. was bad. I mean, that's no. like the norm right now for me. No. No. I mean, no, I tried to flip the script. Um, no, it works. We are moving on we, to okay. Riley now, okay? All right, no, that's um, fine. So last, last session, sure, I never sir. got clarification. And yes. was there an open flame that I saw in the warehouse as well? Um, like a Like a lantern or, or something? There are actually very few open flames. The weather has been quite dry lately. Oh, shit. And it appears someone someone has pressed into these particular soldiers' <coughs> mind to keep the flames away from these barrels. Like more than and five so, feet away from the barrels? More than five feet away. So there are uh, 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 sconces like on several of these pillars. <coughs> And the ones that are actually closest to the barrels are put out. And it looks like somebody has like uh, 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 activated a magic light source to kind of give light to that area. But there's two sconces at the front of the barn, uh, two at the back. Um, but they are not close to the gunpowder whatsoever. They seem to be taking extra care to make sure. Um. Okay, yeah. So my idea was use control flames since it's semantic and silent, and <laughs> just be boosh. <laughs> but okay, because um, if it's in the building, we're not in the building. I don't care if it blows up. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. Yeah. I guess that doesn't work though. Uh, uh, and guards are arming themselves. They are leaving the horses. They are leaving the bugs behind, and they are going to grab weapons. And are heading. Um, not all of them know exactly where you are yet. They're not surrounding you. They're just going out to grab them yet. So you have some time. Okay. So has any of those guards cleared out of the building? Did Anja somewhat succeed? She did not succeed whatsoever. Yeah, no, I rolled a four. Animals okay. are just going across. They're just lumbering across. All right. Is there. So let, let let me get understand the layout of this warehouse. Is there like side alleys? Can I like go around the back of it? Yeah, um, I feel like we're just in the front main street <laughs> by a wagon here, uh -huh. and I I feel a little exposed. <laughs> yeah, uh, on the um, sides of the building there are windows. Uh, you can climb up to kind of get better access from above. Otherwise, it's coming in through the back entrance on the other side, uh, which is where a lot of the tents are. I'm assuming you guys weren't going for, you know, just straight and obvious. However, the front entrance does have a, several wagons around it, easier to hide. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Darn. Um, <coughs> dude, this is hard. Yeah. I would i don't like going through the front so i'm gonna try and uh sneak around through the side to climb up on it up okay. on the building as yeah. carefully and quietly as possible so i don't know if that's two rolls acrobatics and stealth or how you, you want to pick do that, whichever but... role you want you just uh give me the reason why this particular skill works as opposed to athletics to climb up there oh yeah well I, I just seemed acrobatic since I'm I'm kind of climbing and I, I'm not really like a heavy person, so I figured it was more of a dexterity thing than a strength thing. That's why I was thinking is acrobatics to climb. Oh goodness. Because I'm trying to so I'm trying when to I say make an argument for this. Usually what I'm gonna say is because climbing up is always athletics for me oh but if okay. you want to say acrobatics you can say yeah well there's a couple of barrels that are stacked up against the wall that are waiting to be loaded i climb up the barrels balancing on my way up in which case yeah 
that works. Uh, okay. So if you yeah, want I mean, to use acrobatics, you you build the scene to make your skill work. Yeah, basically, I'm I'm trying to get up on top to see if I can if there's uh, some chimney, some opening, some other way yeah. that I could like sneak in there. Yeah. But go ahead. So and I'll do acrobatics. Acro I'll do acrobatics then. Yeah. Uh, cool. I rolled an eight. <laughs> Crash some barrels. Another distraction, guys. I guess my roll, my rolls are not the only ones that suck. <laughs> I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> I did I did put how you actually yeah, execute you start this. Climbing up these barrels. Um and they start <clears throat> slipping out from underneath you and go crashing onto the oh ground. You <laughs> manage to grab the <laughs> ledge before you drop um, and looking down uh, there are a lot of bare blades like maybe this had been um, uh, just some storage for swords, pointy objects like oh yeah well here's our uh, practice spears or something like that and so it kind of looks like you're hanging over a Punjab pit as it were. Cool. And we'll get back to you later. Bran, hey, how you doing? Uh, your party is doing a better job distracting than you are. Uh, how are you? He's getting that? better rules. How's that work? I'm... I don't want to say what I'm thinking. All right, so... <laughs> uh, I will begin... So, uh, I actually have a question to clarify. Yeah. The house or the estate that the mayor and uh, and or uh, Sir Col uh, Cornwall stay at is that the same place? Is it separate? Um, that is information your character does not have. All right, then I will go to the mayor's house. So okay. I will go to the mayor's house. Um, and this is where I'm going to use my flashback. All right. Because this is where I also, also have seen Sir Corwell. Sure. So in the flashback, it's going to be I got there earlier, mm -hmm. laid out some oil on the side of the house. Sure. Uh, and set a torch underneath, like inside an empty barrel earlier. Um, okay. Now the, the mayor's house is like on a hill, right? Um, the way that this uh, entire town works out, it's kind of on the slope of the yeah, volcano. And the mayor's house is like on the higher end of the slope overlooking, correct? believe that's what we what was described before because it's kind of in the center of town there are certainly places that are okay. higher of it but yeah if you're down here you can see the blaze going uh yes okay uh -huh. i will uh and i this is where I, i'm not sure how i set this up but mm -hmm. probably one of the patients i helped earlier in the adventure. Oh. I would have contacted them to stand lookout for when they see the mayor's house on fire after it like got up and then start ringing a fire bell. Okay. Yeah, the person we just kind of see uh, uh, brand stand um, at the back door and you just see him knocking on it uh, and from out of the house one of the builders um, who you had helped uh, comes out uh, you're a wanted man I am I need your help though these ghouls they are not going to leave anybody alive. And I suggest... 
we are trying to get more people out. People you know, people you probably care for. I do not know if you're for the ghouls or not, but it does not matter. I need your help. I need your help saving people. Okay. What do you want to roll? <clears throat> this is so, going to be a fairly easy roll. What I'd like to roll is an mm-hmm. insight check to see who I think is righteous enough that would actually do this. Yeah, absolutely. Give me that insight check. All right. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I chose that. 18. 18. Yeah, no. Um, this is someone you helped before. And even as you talk to him, you know, you're going to be helping other people escape to the town. You kind of see that he glances back into his home for a bit. And you look behind him and there are bags packed. And like there's a loaf of bread in there. What looks to be like a little child's uh, a teddy bear. Um, yeah, let's make sure they get there safely. And so we see Bran riding down this alleyway, pulling out a torch, chucking it at this oil street, probably more in the grass. Because again, it's Mm -hmm. been dry this past couple of days and an oil slick is going to be fairly obvious. And shucking it and riding by and there we see uh, uh, the, the the worker, the laborer turn, watch you go and from out of his cloak pulls out this large bell dong 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 fire! The magistrate's house is on fire! And we go over to Anja Hey, all right, all right. You're doing so, fine. all right. Well, no. The question is, are you going to count that flashback? Because if not, I'll actually do something in the actual. Oh yeah, spirit. no, I'm not going to count that. Flashback. Okay, okay. That's so that's not a flashback. No, all right, all right. Here we go. Well, it is we have... All right. So wait, I have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea. Mm-hmm. Can we control Merrick? Because it's clear is in our ear. Because I have, I have something where I can use my flashback. That I prep something that he can do, and if you, I did post a little message in chat. Uh, have gosh, him do you want me to read to these? Things? You don't. You don't have to, because I'm going to have to explain it to everybody, anyways. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. <clears> okay, so what I was thinking for Merrick's turn and my okay. flashback. Okay. I prepared a, a, I prepared a fuse mm-hmm. and made a rope. Yeah. A little thin rope, and I, I put something on it so that it will burn. And what I want Merrick to do is basically there's obviously a, a something that they take the powder out of these barrels with. There's going to be an opening mm-hmm. and it's probably not locked or anything. Mm-hmm. And I want to basically take and put the, put the fuse in there and then light it, which means Riley, you're going to have to move. <laughs> that's what my flashback is. And that's what I want to do. As for okay. the rest of the shit show that's going on, we'll uh, get to that after we do this. Because I think it's basically, I'm going to fucking run. Okay. Your flashback is used. You have made a fuse. <clears throat> Give me a skill check. Uh, hmm, um, would that be survival? It's whatever you can argue with me. I would, I mean, sur- God, my base rolls have been terrible. Uh, it'd be, survival would be to me the thing that would be that's like making a snare or you know and I think that falls under under survival give me descriptions where it sounds more survivally yeah I take Let's this see. rope and I happen to know a good burning agent that would I mean I can't think of another method. skill that really falls under well, I'm not asking for another skill. You can yeah. just push what the skill is a little bit more. Describe to me, like I'm there in the situation. We are oh, down um, in the cellar. 
with Anja. Okay, so I'm gonna say it's something like basically, like where did you learn to how to tie it into survival? Just tie it into survival. I'm just thinking if there's something better. I don't think so. Promise, I don't think I can't think of a better thing. Um, basically, it's a survival skill that she probably learned from her dad a long time ago. You know, I said baking traps, making, and this would be a trap, making a wick that would give us by some time to get out, you know, and she's going to be there. She's going to say she'll pull out the rope and she'll think back on her training Mm -hmm. and basically find the right rope for the job and then also take in and put like some alcohol or something like that on it, soak it. And she knows how long to soak it and such for to get it so that it will burn, but not too fast. Okay. And make it the right length. It's going to be the right length so that, you know, it'll be fast enough. It'll be slow enough so people can get out or we can get out. And, but fast enough that people can't go and just put it out, make it difficult to put out. Okay. Does that sound Um, right? You are doing this in a, uh, a city under siege. So getting materials might be a little bit well, I mean, it's probably difficult. At least finding something that is going <clears throat> slowly to what you want. Otherwise, you just have this well, really say, long rope. Is well, that I would what you were t- thinking? yeah, I was thinking a rope, but I could cut it with. I have I have blades. Okay. I could cut it with my magic sword. Okay, go ahead and give me that survival check. Let's see Come how well on. we did. Uh, Frickin... It's going to be a lower DC. You have yeah. You can find rope. You can find cloth. Yes. Hours to do this. I rolled a 17, so that's 23. Okay. Uh, You guys (laughs) have this uh, fuse in your party uh, ready to go. And I gave it to Merrick. Merrick has it. It's just a matter of getting Merrick to the barrels and lighting it. I would assume Uh, he's pretty close to there now because he was with Riley. Yeah. Well, he's at the bottom. In in fact, I may be a... Staring up at you. <coughs> what are you doing to get out of this situation? I mean, to be honest, I l- let's just say this: if Merrick already knows about this fuse thing, mm-hmm. and he has it, yeah, and I'm making a hell of a distraction, knocking over barrels, hanging on the side of this yeah. building. Yeah, now is okay. now is actually a good time for him to actually sneak in there. To be yeah. honest, or try to okay. sneak around while I'm being the distraction. I and guess. and I am and I am too in a sense. I don't know if we need to resolve anything on that. I said that and, shit and, show. And he's the stealthy one, so maybe this is <laughs> yes. actually all okay. Yeah. Um. He'll lay the fuse, and then when when I guess he is done laying the fuse hopefully he can do that mm-hmm. out of view of people because sure. first of all he's stealthy and secondly we're making hell of a distraction with a couple of us um yeah, okay. then i'll then i'll flee somehow okay you, you, or you draw got people. it i'll you try and draw, draw you're draw gonna more try people. and draw people that sounds there are still people that are you know maybe they're alerted inside the warehouse but they haven't quite stopped working yet and they're very mindful of the gunpowder so we're going to distract people by hanging off the roof <laughs> of <laughs> this, uh, uh, oh, hold this on. warehouse. Yeah. Above. Yeah, I mean, that's where I'm at. So I guess I'm yeah. hanging there, kicking my legs, screaming yeah. like, ah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a bunch of blades and pointy things under me. Absolutely. So <laughs> maybe, maybe while I'm, I'm kicking say. the side of the wall, the building that everyone's in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. What skill do you want to roll? And then let me tell you uh, uh, what the bad thing is, what the good thing is. Because right now I see it. You're going to roll. And if you're distracting enough, the people in the warehouse are just going to, what the hell is going on? And they'll come out. And that gives Merrick the perfect opportunity to stick this in and light it. If you fail, you are going to fall. Uh, you're going to take falling damage and you're going to take some serious slashing damage from um, from oh. some materials, okay? Well, well, here, here's the thing, Kyle. Here's yes. the thing. <coughs> I, I already had a back, backup plan for the falling part. I figure part. you have the backup I, plan for the falling part. Yeah. I'm just telling you I, what this skill roll is going to entail. 
Right. But what I'm mm-hmm. saying is like mm-hmm. my, okay. So you're saying persuasion or, or whatever to convince that. I'm saying, so I, I was thinking you that the failure would be on the distraction, but I want it fall still because I, I did have a plan for that, which would be like misty step or gaseous form. Yep. Or, I figured that's what you were going to say. A bunch of other things, but yeah, we got to figure out whether your distraction um, and again, it's whatever skill you want to use. You're obviously the warlock, and so I'm sure performance or persuasion is the way you're going to want to go with this. Yeah, I'm um, probably going to try persuasion. How are you being persuasive in this moment? I guess that this is more of a performance thing. Like, uh, like, like I said, you describe it in a situation hmm. that makes it make sense. Yeah, so I'm on the hanging on the edge of the building mm-hmm. above some barrels outside i just knocked over some barrels uh-huh. um screaming and hollering right outside the building probably mm-hmm. banging on the walls okay uh so yeah i guess that's more of a performance than anything hopefully so that i'm making enough of a ruckus that everyone inside is like what the fuck that's literally right there they're banging on the building what's going on and hopefully that's enough of distraction that they realize okay we need to split up at least a bit of our forces to make mm-hmm. Merrick's job easier. Yeah. Okay. And if I persuade well enough, hopefully that's more people. If you but... persuade everyone, everyone comes out. All right. If you succeed I but with a little bit, you're going to have only a few people. What do you I got? rolled. I, I, well, it was a two on the die, so seven. Seven. Woo! Uh, you trying to be distracting, oh, you feel the pressure on, your hands get wet. And you slip and fall. And I assume you're going to misty step your way out of stepping or landing on some blades. Um. Mm, no, I'm I'm gonna gaseous form and fly away very very slowly. <laughs> is it very is it windy at first? Let me ask that. <laughs> you one hundred. D100? Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> What's good? Low or high? Low is good. Can't okay, well, low. that was an 11 on a D100. Oh, God. I rolled so a 69. A... Uh, oh, nice. 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 So uh, I guess I'm going to gash this form away. That was, I did, <laughs> I did a thing <laughs> and that did not succeed. <laughs> uh, but what about Merrick? Merrick, Merrick is, Merrick's Merrick. Merrick is Merrick. Uh, there are still uh, uh, too many people in the in the barn to try and really sneak in and not get caught. And if Merrick tries to do it by himself, that will be the end of Merrick. And I am not going to be responsible for that while he's not here. So we go back to Bran. You have set the magistrate's house on fire. <laughs> and you have awoken everybody in the city. I love it. With your pal. Uh, Any more havoc? What's the next part of the plan here? To be honest, at this point, that was the extent that I had prepped. <laughs> uh huh. Um, my goal, actually, at this point, mm-hmm. is to. I don't know where my uh, my stepbrother is staying. Mm-hmm. My only thought so far is he's staying at the magistrate's place. Sure. You want so to... my next step was actually to enter in the magistrate's place as it's on fire. All right. And I am looking for him. Okay. Uh, what skill are you thinking about getting in there with? Um, I think I'm going to go with a perception to find the easiest entry point, window, grate, uh, servant's door, uh, cellar basement not door. On fire. <laughs> huh? That is currently not on fire. That is currently not on fire. Okay, yeah. Um, you succeed. Um, you need to make a roll? Oh, 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 yeah, you're going through it. Never mind. Yep, I'm going through it right now, yeah. 
uh, you succeed all the way. Uh, you find a way to get in um, potentially without being noticed. Um, it's a high DC. You kind of draw attention to the house mm -hmm. you're breaking into, um, which might make escape later on a little bit hard. Okay. Fine. All right. Go ahead. All right. 20. Yeah. Uh, you managed to find the servants' quarters uh, back door uh, between a couple of houses in an alley. And you managed to sneak in there. Um, and you are inside the house. Um, it is... musky in here and you've entered through the servant quarters and just doing a quick glance there are people in the beds you have something you're going ahead and you just kind of take a quick glance they are mummified corpses in the bed uh. their faces frozen in the horror. I'm glad I'm burning this place down then. Mm -hmm. uh, and you managed to get into the building proper and every once in a while you see Wilkemite statues, that green jade. Most people would mistake it for jade, but you have been around it close enough and have seen it enough that yes this is actual welcomite glowing um some it's just pure raw shapeless others have been carved into um what look like primitive warrior statues there's even a a blade made of welcomite ornamental uh, hanging on the wall and you hear um, footsteps rumbling from upstairs and turning at the stairwell you see Magistrate Awiggy uh, in a nightgown at the top of the stairwell at the landing closest to you, however, is the very large form of your brother staring daggers in your direction. Hey, Anja, how you doing? <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, it's so fine now now let's get to the whole situation around now it. let's get to the whole situation yeah uh, you set up a situation for merrick to be successful provided he can get to those barrels uh without <clears throat> um provided yeah those guards those workers are not in the building or are somewhat distracted by something else what are you thinking what about the people outside? I don't think that was resolved. I thought outside, I'd get the other pitch. Can I get in there and do something then? If you like, sure. What do you want to do? You tell me. Um, the guards are getting ready to close in. Okay. We will say How many... that this <clears throat> is going to be your last chance to do something. Riley, it will be your last chance to do something. And then Merrick is going to make a roll. And Ugh. whether he succeeds that roll or not is whether good things happen. You have items. You have spells. I don't have shit. You Shut have a flashback. What's that? I, do, I don't have a flashback, and I don't have any useful spells for this. And I don't really have any magic items that are particularly helpful. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> if Riley, you want to go first, you can go first. I don't mind. 
I, well, I mean, if you want to go first, that's fine. So I'm in gaseous form. Mm-hmm. Now that I'm in gaseous form and I'm floating above the building, mm-hmm. I do I see though. a chimney or a way in yet? You can float in through the windows that have uh, uh, already been described if you want to get in there, yeah. Okay, but mm-hmm. will I be in clear view of these people stacking things in there? When I, I do will this? say, I described earlier that it is not as well lit as it could be mm-hmm. because of this gunpowder, and I will say that you are able to get into the building. Okay. Mm-hmm. And inside Mm -hmm. is there a ledge or somewhere up high that i could like de gaseous form yes like stealthily absolutely okay Mm -hmm. then i'm just gonna try that really quickly so i'm in here with everyone you're in there with everyone (laughs) hopefully not noticed Mm -hmm. is this my role now because i did want to do an action after this if possible let's go ahead and include the action in this role as well okay because Mm -hmm. i had this cool little like patchwork bag thingy with the scale ball in it that was supposed to be a conjuration or something or other i think that's good i think i might want to just toss that in here and see what happens (laughs) fuck it we're up to chance now give me a skill check of your choosing getting in this building (coughs) finding your way through a crack um being quiet enough that when you reappear in person um moving silently to open up this bag and pull whatever is in there out of it what are you thinking i mean i don't know i'm just gonna go with stealth or something okay let me tell you uh if you succeed Mm mm-hmm you succeed in making a distraction um, and you will be okay for it. If you fail, what comes out of that bag is going to be much worse than what you could possibly think of. Well, you could think of a great old one. It's not going to be a great old one. We'll say that. For I mean, that would be a great distraction. It would be a great <laughs> distraction. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Um, Amazingly bad, but it would be amazing. You know what? I'm sure I'm that would saying, be the end of the campaign. I, on a fa- maybe this on a is failure. A really low DC. Maybe on uh, a failure, I get noticed and it doesn't really summon anything <laughs> that bad. <laughs> Yes, so that's they're basically the way I feel it. they're like they are like oh let's dispatch that and this guy here that just tossed that <laughs> and on um, like maybe a mid DC it just like uh, either I get noticed or the thing just is kind of a dud but just one of them and yeah, then okay. maybe like on a that. success yeah. it, it just does ill yeah yeah and I'll come say, on man roll you guys high. can certainly make your consequences too I don't mind uh, go ahead. Um, no, Stealth. you're in gaseous form. Uh, you've got a lot of control in this situation. <coughs> the DC is very, very low for this. Okay. Mm-hmm. DC is low. Mm-hmm. I like to hear that. So I'll just try, uh, you know, you know, my stealth. Why not? Not one. Seriously? Seriously, not one. <laughs> Fucking hell. I mean, I get a plus four, so it's a five, but <laughs> not one. Okay. Woo! I'm going to cry, and it's not even... I feel bad. Land on the outside walkway, and it creaks. And it breaks. And you fall down to the floor, where you land in a heap. The scaled ball that was in your pouch that you were getting ready to grab and throw out (coughs) rolls out and grows and grows until it's about five feet six feet seven feet eight feet long as wide around as a heifer 
and it rears its head up and proceeds to dig down into the earth and disappear. And there's a moment's pause as everyone turns in your direction. And I will say this scares the horse. And so the wagon starts pulling out of the warehouse there. Uh, they pull swords and they start marching in your direction. Clearly intent to stick you. You freakish looking thank you. Question. Hey, Anja, did you think of something to do? Okay, no, well, question. All their attention's on him. Their attention is on him? Does that mean Merrick can get in there and do his thing? Because, <sighs> I mean... Have... I tell you what, we'll let Merrick... It's up to <laughs> you, man. We will let Merrick do the role now. Um, One of you three, give me the <laughs> I'll roll. I'll roll. No! <laughs> I think we should let Bran roll. This is really, rolling. really Riley's bag here is getting in that situation to screw everything up. Because, Quite nicely. like, okay, my thought was I was going to go, I was going to try to get, I was basically what I was going to do was I was going to set something, try to set something on fire and yell to get everybody out. You know, fire, fire, fire. But he already made a distraction. He, he is has the made a distraction. Of so his. it seems, unless I'm trying to save him, you know, and that may come to that. I'm, I'm going to hold my action, basically, is what I'm doing. And right. may need to come in and bail his ass out. Or at least come in there and confuse, confuse them, you know, so that they have multiple, because we're two different directions. But we need okay. to... But but if yeah, I mean he's now a distraction, so I think Merrick should be able to get in. <laughs> I hope to help. Then DJ, would you make the roll? I will say, uh, Merrick has a ten in acrobatics. Yep. A <clears throat> seven in nature, perception, persuasion, sleight of hand, and survival, and a plus four to stealth. Yeah, we don't want stealth. <laughs> sleight, I mean, sleight of hand might be good for putting the thing in so they don't notice. Yeah. That putting the wick peaceful. in the thing and getting it started. And he would, we'll have him put it so that the, the flame will be coming up the backside in between. Um. So that's my thought. As for my, I said, my action. Um, okay. I, you know, I could, uh, yeah, but shutting the door, shutting the door seems like a bad idea. We need to get out. <laughs> Let's shut the door on Merrick and. No, 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 no. Okay. I would be on the inside too. I'm sh- I want to. What I'm hearing is Merrick is going to yes. run in there while We're do the that now. workers are distracted. Yeah, and he is Carol, going to read what I just wrote in there. Flash can and be... well, this is to Riley, really. Yes, I know, but that actually works with your thoughts. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. There are um, tunnels underneath that we can use to escape. To give it to the viewers, <laughs> Merrick is going to run in there, set this wick, light it as quickly and as efficiently as his small hands can. He has a plus seven to this roll. Who's making? Bran, will you make the roll? Cards are somewhat distracted. So this is going to be the the medium DC. I think we are looking at an 18 DC. Um, Which is a a little, little over than half. Who is going to make the roll? You need an 11 or better. I don't think it should be Riley. Brand is I mean, my, I, I already used my bad luck. I'm fine. What do you think, Brand? <laughs> I still think it should be Brand. He's been rolling the best out of all of us. You guys, you guys are heading this. I have confidence. All Not right. much confidence, but some confidence oh in my your God. rolls. Uh, who do you want? Three, two, one, Riley. who? 
You want Riley. Riley to do it? Okay. Yep. I'll I'm, do it. I'm with it. I'm with All right, D20 yes. plus seven, uh, right? Here's what I'm going to say. Um, you roll it 11. If it's a failure, he sets the entire building ablaze while you guys are in it. And I, I can live with that. I can damage. live with that. Can you? Yeah. The building is on fire. <laughs> I can, I'm right by Remember, the door. It's not so much fire. Did you roll a one again? <laughs> no, I rolled a two this time. I didn't want. Well, I wanted. Fuck! All right. You have destroyed my confidence in you. <laughs> It is okay. There's a new hole in the ground that we can duck into so we don't <laughs> die in the blaze and explosions. I was right on who should have made the roll because if I rolled, it would have been a one. You know what? I'm just going to roll just because I want to <laughs> see what I would have rolled. Yeah, I want to see what you would get. Just a straight 20. Because it can't be worse than me. <laughs> right, let's see. Let's see. Please tell me. I would have rolled a three. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so, so we're all good. We're it all wasn't good. worse than Riley. Okay. We're fucking doomed. <laughs> To be two. Anja? Now one and now two. And what if that you had? <laughs> three. You watch as Merrick runs in there. Sorry. And he lights the fuse. You have I'm built just... a good fuse. You I went did. ahead and used resources, used really a flashback well. to make this fuse. <laughs> So each of you have <laughs> one more action left before this building explodes. Oh. And I am going to give you each 10 D8 damage for whoever oh is still in the building. And I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, in fact, I'm going to start rolling that damage right now. I mean, I'm, I'm at the door, so I am just going to fucking leave. But I will, yeah, you know what? I'm going to yell because you get all these people. Well, they all can see the fire, right? Yeah, they can see so the they fire. So they all know the building's on fire in the Well, section. the building is not on fire. We're saying that the fuse yeah. is lit. However, Merrick mishandled your fuse. Oh, yeah, he put it in too far. He, but it he is your fuse, too... so it is designed to burn a little bit slowly to give you guys time. Right. And so you took the time to make that. And so I'm going to honor that this fuse is going to burn a little bit slower. But unfortunately, I'm giving you guys one last action to do something. And so, yeah, if you want to run, Anja. I'm going to run. have to. Okay. Again, I mean, do you, do I mean, you, do you any... want to do something to save these guys? I, I don't know what to do. I'm nowhere or near them. Or you leave them to the damage. Well, wait, wait, wait. I am nowhere near them, right? You're right outside the door. Wait. I can only do it on one, though. This is, this would be, oh, no, I can do is put it on myself. I have absorb elements, which I assume fire is an element. <clears throat> but I don't think. Oh, yeah, that's a few do, eights. It's not going to do okay. enough. I, uh, what can I do to help? Let's see, that's one eight, um, two eight. Oh, that's a seven. Shit. That's nice. Uh, five. Hmm? Let me know if this ends up being over 55, Kyle. <laughs> and then I'll decide <laughs> what I do. Is that what you decide? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is there any, uh, is it, I mean, what can I do to get them out faster? Um, you can come in here and pick us both up and run away. I mean, well, is that... Keep in mind, there is, is now a doable? large hole in the ground. Oh! If you were uh, you know, a fine. giant My... scaled creature reared its head up and then proceeded to burrow itself. My action, if we can get... I mean, are we all within a move of that? It's made a tunnel. It's a little bit longer like than it was an actual to... round of time you get. I will find my action is going to be just to yell at them, get in the hole. Because the best thing I can think to do, because I'm not technically, yeah, I'm at the door, but they're way inside. So I'm not near enough to really do anything. I'm going to yell at them, get in the hole, because that should offer protection. It's going to blow above them. Are you, at, are you going to also follow that yeah. advice? Oh, shit. I, you know what? You yes. 
Yeah, if I'm if you move, want, you can yes. be like, you know what? I'm gonna grab Merrick by the collar and if, drag him down in the hole with. If me. I can do that, yes, then I'm gonna do that yeah. because outside, if all those guys come with guns and swords, mm. so that's probably a terrible way. No, I'm gonna do exactly that. I run and I grab Merrick and go jump in the hole. Okay. And what I, skill are you using to do this? Fuck, I don't know. You can use athletics. Acro- that's acro- the obvious one. Acrobatics? Um, I don't know, either one. Yeah, and if I fail, I'm going to friggin' die. Um, it's just friggin' leaving. All right, nope, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'll do uh, acro- oh, acrobatics is one point better. Sure. It's not going to matter either. The hole is very rough, and you got to well, make your way down there quite quickly. I'm doing acrobatics, and it's an 18. You succeed. Yes! And I get married. I'm going to take half this damage. All right. Okay. Riley. Hmm. Yeah, this is all happening at the same time. Literally, time is just slowing down, and you just see the fuse disappear (coughs) into the barrel. Also, can I. Okay, so, question Is the hole on the other side of all these people that are approaching me? Yes. Are they running though? Because the building's on fire. All right. Well, yeah. Well, that it's behind them potentially. That was the yeah. entire point. Is Merrick sneaked in behind them? Mm-hmm. Um. So, how far is that hole for me? If you want to misty step and use that, you can get into the hole. Yeah, because that's only a bonus action. So I was hoping I could misty step and then use my movement to get a little farther. <laughs> Or something. I don't know. I just <laughs> half damage yeah. is decent, but if I could quarter that or something, that'd be great too. Uh, yeah. So no, I may- tell you what, if you misty step, you have enough <coughs> time to run. How are you running through this tunnel quickly? How are you moving so that you do not catch any of this? I'm going to assume you get half damage already. You have the spell. Okay. You have a lot of control in this situation. How are you okay. going to try to avoid damage altogether? As oh, okay. Only Riley can. <laughs> As only Riley can. Only okay, Riley. so yeah, I guess my goal would be to Misty Step, and then my action would be to try and scramble farther, mm-hmm. which I would think it would be somewhat difficult terrain since I'm going almost vertical. So I'm going to say acrobatics this time again. That works. Yeah. That makes perfect sense to me. Come on, Riley. Okay. Come on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna roll. Mm-hmm. Please make it. Nat 20 plus yes! four. Yes. Very yes! nice. So clutch rolls at the end there. We see you <coughs> or we see Anja grab Merrick. You can see them behind you, throw them both into the hole. That would have been bad. That's a giant bowl of dice I just about knocked over the floor. Um, and drag them into the hole. And it's like, click. And you vanish and start falling down the hole. And you fall past Merrick and Anja. And we go back to where these guards are getting ready to lunge. And literally, you disappear as their swords enter the space you are in. There's this confused look. What's the smell? Boom! (laughs) A question, one other question. Answer. Since I'm doing the friggin' heroic thing here. Mm -hmm. Can I, can I actually offer Merrick some more protection? Because basically he's going to be, I'm putting my back to the fire. He's going to be, you know, I'm basically cradling him in my arms. Sure. To try to protect him from it. And, take and there's 51 a re- points of damage. All right. Oh, I'm not dead. And I actually, as a reaction, I'm doing absorb elements. So I'm going to take away 2d6 of that. It's a reaction spell. Oh, it's only six. So that was 50 what? 51. So that's now minus six is 45. 45. Mm-hmm. I'm not even unconscious. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing good, but I'm not unconscious. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> you guys, the whole level's out. Holy shit. Um, and actually makes its way um, north. Well, <gasps> when I say north, volcano wards. 
So it's heading off into the volcanoes and you guys are able to follow it for a while and eventually it loops into one of the sewer tunnels of the city. You are able to get out, uh, <coughs> grab whatever you had left in the city and climb over the wall. Bran. Shit. Your brother towers over you. You ruin every good thing that I have. And we will end the show there tonight. No! I was so looking forward to that. I was expecting you to. I was going to be disappointed (laughs) if you didn't. (laughs) All right. Wow. Guys, that has been cred. Uh, I think the heist (coughs) mechanics worked a little bit better, but uh, could use some tweaking. Um, That's pretty good. You guys made a heck of a distraction setting the mayor's house on fire uh, as well as... um, you know, getting the garrison to blow up. Very nice. Um, how successful that distraction is, we will find out later, but you managed to get out. Uh, Bran, you are currently, uh, well, we can talk about that a little bit later. Screw you fans who happen to be watching. <laughs> and yeah. let's see. Guys, that's it. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. Uh, check out us on Podbean. Buy some cool, awesome merch at Threadless, where you can wear your shirts threadbare like I do. Uh, hit up Pirate Dog Dice for some awesome dog poop dice. Uh, I still love it. It always rolls a six for me. Honestly, if I had rolled like 12 D6s, I probably would have would have killed Anja for sure, I bet. Um, uh- and... Thanks Probably. to oh you know, no 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 Odd yeah. Fish Games no. for sponsoring the episode with their wonderful smells. Uh, soon, Carol's cantankerous canker sore fence post oh, of chlamydia uh, will be on there. So make sure you look for that and support that. Other than that, everybody wave to the camera. Uh, Brand case your ass goodbye.